Hi guys, it's Lara. Thanks for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today it's part two of me showing Shadow's equipment. In the first part I have shown you what we have for our walks and hiking, so if you missed that video I will link it I believe here in the right corner and also down below. And today I will show you what we have for at home and for the office. Here we have Shadow's bed. It's an orthopedic dog bed by the brand Bruno Lee, which is, I believe, a German brand. Uh, it's pretty large, so I will write down below the exact measurements and I will link it down below so that you can look up the different sizes and the different prices. It was quite pricey, but it's definitely worth it. The quality is amazing. The mattress is so great. I would sleep on it myself. Um, and I think it's the best to always invest rather more in your dog's sleeping place so that they have the most possible comfort. Don't wait until they have any issues or until they get old. It's basically like with us. When you sleep somewhere where they have super uncomfortable bed, you would wake up and everything would be aching in your body and you don't want that for your dog. So that's why we decided to pay rather more but have the most comfortable bed possible. So I'm gonna show you some of the features. So first things first, the entire cover can be taken off and thrown in the washing machine, which is super important. It is really important to keep your dog's uh, sleeping space clean. So here we have the zipper around the entire bed and it can be also taken off from these pillow sections. So there are two of these pillow sections, one on the longer side and one on the shorter side. The bed came with this small throw pillow, but Shadow loves pillows so much that we added the large one ourselves. The plushies are there purely for decoration, decoration because Shadow doesn't play with them. I bought him the crocodile and he played with it probably twice and then he lost interest. So this is just because it looks cute. The surface from this side is kind of fluffy. And I have to say the dog hair sticks a lot to it, which is something I read also in the reviews, but I don't mind uh, the dog hair being visible and it gets vacuumed once a week, so it's not so bad. However, I have to say this is after Shadow slept in the bed only one night since it's been vacuumed and you can already see how much hair is visible. But again, I really don't care about that. Another option would be just to put a blanket or some kind of cover on it and then regularly take it off and wash it. We bought for Shadow these little carpets for our staircase because the steps can be pretty slippery and we were always afraid that he would slide and fall down and hurt himself and obviously we didn't want that. So the carpet pieces have on the back side kind of a strip with a sticky surface so you can bring them up safely to the stairs. This is not the only solution. I believe that there are also white plastic strips that can be put on the stairs and they are practically invisible, but we decided to go with the carpets. And now when he walks up and down, he has way more grip. And I believe that it's even a bit less straining for his knees and hips. Here we have Shadow's dog feeder. So I read quite a lot about elevated dog feeders and supposedly they are better for the pup's digestion and for their neck and joints. I did not find any long-term studies, but it seems to me logical that it's even more comfortable for the pup when they don't have to bend too far down. I find it also very pretty and practical. So the way it works is they have here um, round opening into which the bowls are being submerged and he has always here on the right side his water and the left bowl is for his puppy food. Elevated dog feeders can be actually pretty pricey so I was pleasantly surprised that this one was a quite a decent price. I also like the fact that it was made of wood and it is super sturdy, nothing wobbles, that's something I definitely like. We also bought two of these single dog feeders. They are made of metal and they can be taken apart very easily. You don't need any tools, so they are an incredible thing that you can get for your pup when you like to travel with them so that they have their elevated feeders also when you're not at home, which is what we did when we went to Styria. 
So we have two. Uh, this one is usually standing outside in the yard, so that Shadow has access to fresh water whenever he's enjoying being outside. And the second one is standing at the office. And we use them both on a daily basis just for water. But when we were in Styria, one was obviously for his food and the second one was for his water. I'm sorry, I like explaining the obvious. This is how small the metal feeders get when you take them apart. It's a very simple principle. So they have this round metal piece and the feet are being put up like so. You only have to slide them onto these little parts or um, take them off if you want to take it apart. And that's pretty much it. So as I said, no tools necessary. All you have to do is to put the feet up and put the ball in and that's it and they are equally quickly taken apart and that's something i really like about them again it's a really great thing to have them additionally if you have a yard or if you like traveling and when we went to Styria, i took them apart i put the two balls into each other and this is how little space they took in our luggage we have two puppy towels for Shadow. They are by the brand Fluffino. I found them super cute and they really are fluffy and super soft and nicely absorbent. And one thing I really like about them, and that was also one of the reasons why I ordered these, was that they have these pockets on each side. So you can slide your hands inside of each pocket and then it's really easy to rub the fur of your pup because the towel will stay nicely on your hands or at least much more than if there were no pockets. I mean, occasionally my hands slide out too, but um, it's just so much nicer than regular towels. And they are so nicely soft that I'm actually thinking about getting another pair so that I could use them. So uh, one of them is, as you can see, in gray with a green edge. And the second one came in green with a gray edge, but this one is right now super wet because it's been pouring the whole morning and I had to rub Shadow's fur dry when we came from our walk. It seems to me that Shadow actually enjoys these towels because whenever I grab one, when he's wet, he comes to me and he has this grin on his face. It's super cute. It's probably because he knows he's gonna get some extra mama cuddles with the towel. And um, I find that they dry quickly, so I'm super happy with them. Now, this is an item that does not necessarily count as dog equipment. However, I find it extremely handy when you have a pup. So it's an electronic kitchen scale. I bought it a while ago for cooking and baking and making DIY cosmetics, but I've been using it ever since we adopted Shadow to be sure that he has a proper portion. So dogs are supposed to eat between two and 4% of their body weight, depending on their age and activity level. And that way, once you figured out how much uh, your dog is supposed to eat, you can easily weigh all the components and yeah, it just makes life so much easier. So I highly recommend it. And last but not least, we are now in our hallway and I will show you how we store Shadow's stuff. So I keep here all his harnesses on these three coat hangers. And I always hang on one of the coat hangers also our crossbody bag with the muzzle and my facial mask. And I like hanging the clicker on one of the coat hangers. Here we have all Shadow's leashes. Here is one of the waistbands that came with uh, one of the leashes with the fanny pack. And beneath that, uh, I always like keeping one of Shadow's puppy towels. I also like having here Shadow's insect spray that helps also against ticks and an insect spray for myself because otherwise I'd be eaten alive in the woods, especially now in the summer. And here on the top, in one of the cabinets, I keep the box with Shadow's poopy bags. All right, so these have been all the things that we have for Shadow at home. And in addition to that, we have an orthopedic dog mat that we keep at the office for him, which also serves us as a car seat cover when we travel. It makes it so much more comfortable for Shadow. It's not slippery and it does protect the car seats as well. And it also serves as Shadow's sleeping space when we travel. And then I bought a carpet for underneath my desk because even though Shadow has this wonderful mat, 
that he can rest on. Sometimes he wants to be close to me and he lays down underneath my desk and I didn't want him to lay on the hard floor all the time and I also added a pillow because as we all know Shadow likes pillows. There is one item that is currently at the office that I feel I didn't have to buy at all and that is the cooling mat. So when I bought it first of all I was pleasantly surprised how sturdy it was and that it really works. So as soon as you put weight on it it starts cooling and it's really nice. It feels Probably just like when you would go out in the spring and you would sit down on a stone bench and it would be still cold but not freezing. It's pretty much like that. So I thought it's gonna be wonderful. Shadow is a husky. He's gonna love it in the summer and he used it probably just twice and then he decided he didn't want it. And he prefers resting on tiles and cooling off on tiles instead of on this cooling mat. So I will keep it for a while and see if he starts using it. If he doesn't, I will probably donate it to an animal shelter because I don't want to have junk at home that's not being used. It is, as I said, super sturdy. It works, but for whatever reason, he doesn't want it. So this is going to be it for today. I have decided to say my final words and my goodbyes with a few clips of Shadow uh, because I find it so much nicer than filming my face, which is something I got so tired of over the years and I do not miss it at all. So anyway, um, I hope that this video has been either useful or interesting for you. Um, if you have any further questions about Shadow's equipment, feel free to write them down below in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I will, as always, list all the links to the items that you have seen today down below. This video is not sponsored, however, some of the links might be affiliate links, which means if you would use them, I would get a small commission. But I would like to encourage you, before you use these links, um, maybe see if you can buy the stuff locally and to support a small business in your area first. That's so much better. I will also link down below Shadow's blog and his Instagram account. I'm not really very active right now. I'm even taking a break from Instagram for now, but I should be back by the end of August so we can all connect there. And I plan on filming a little live update probably in September. So till then, love you guys so much. Take great care of yourself and of your pups and see you then. Bye.